Well, we've all heard of takeovers. This one is crazy. Nearly 200 electric scooters taking over the streets. This happened in downtown LA this morning, forcing people to call police to have them removed. Let's go to NBC 4's Christine Kim, who's live in the Arts District in downtown where this happened. And many people have left their scooters behind. Christine, this was pretty dangerous. Good morning, guys. That's right. And this is what we're finding. Scooters like this scattered along the sidewalks here throughout the Arts District. Uh, the meeting point where we saw those huge crowds, not far from here. We're talking about nearly a couple hundred people who swarmed the streets. <laughs> Look at all of those people on electric scooters taking over the streets throughout downtown Los Angeles. It appears a social media call drew about 180 people together just about midnight, meeting first at the Arts District and at points racing each other. The lights on the scooters illuminating the dark road showing just how big the crowds were. LAPD tells us there were so many people taking over the streets that they had to respond to disperse them. We're told no one was arrested overnight in this. This comes as concern rises here in Los Angeles County. County with the explosion of electric scooters and balancing a mode of transportation and fun with safety out on the roads. Uh, there's been growing concern and calls to ban e-scooters here as well. Now cities across the nation are trying to find that balance. In Atlanta, after a rash of deaths involving scooter riders, the city banned the use of them during the nighttime hours. And also just this week, an LA County uh, Council, LA City Councilman asked the DOT for decals along their sidewalks there, reminding scooter riders that it is illegal to ride scooters along the sidewalks. But again, Michelle and McCullough, just a very dangerous situation overnight. Um, LAPD having to respond to disperse those crowds. We're live in the Arts District in downtown Los Angeles. I'm Christine Kim for Today in LA.